I will share some facts that many of you may not even be aware of. While traveling through Germany or Austria, you might see these strange power lines. It seems that there are four wires on them. What are these wires? Could it be some kind of four-phase network or two single-phase ones? This is a dedicated power supply network for the railway. Why such a strange overhead line and what is the purpose of single-phase power? Look, we need to dive a little into history. Historically, it has been the case that in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Sweden and Norway, the railway systems are powered by a contact network with a voltage of 15 kV at a frequency of 16.7 Hz. Can you imagine not 50 Hz? This is quite a rare frequency. We are used to having 50-60 Hz in our world, but here it is 16.7. What is this about? Initially, railways were electrified with direct current at 1.5 and 3 kV. And successfully, series wound motors were used as traction motors. When the world began to transition to alternating current, most countries started to electrify their railway networks with an industrial frequency of 50 Hz. However, Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Sweden chose to take a different path. They wanted to use the same series wound DC motors for alternating current. But at 50 Hz, these motors would experience excessive heating and losses. So, they came up with nothing less than reducing the frequency by a factor of 3. If you divide 50 by 3, you get 16.2. But then they rounded it a bit to 16.7 Hz. How is such a frequency obtained? This tricky frequency is generated in two ways. Either by converting from the standard industrial frequency of 50 Hz, or by direct generation at individual power stations of 16.7 Hz. In Germany, there is a nuclear power plant and a hydroelectric power station that specifically generates 16.7 Hz for the needs of traction transport for railways. And across the country, there are such power lines on which single phase lines of 110 kV with a frequency of 16.7 Hz and 10 kV with a frequency of 16.70 Hz are suspended. To convert 50 Hz to 16.7 Hz, a machine converter is most commonly used. There is a three-phase drive motor operating at 50 Hz, which drives a three-phase generator that produces 16.7 Hz. But why don't these countries change their 15 kV, 16 Hz network to a standard railway electrification of 25-27 kV, like in all of Eastern Europe, in the Balkans, and in Turkey? Even in northern France, there are 25 kW electric trains. And that's because it is already economically unfeasible to change the entire infrastructure that has been created. It is advantageous to simply maintain it in proper condition and improve it. That is to enhance the converters, improve the energy distribution system, and remain at this frequency of 16.7 Hz. I will mention the main disadvantage of equipment operating at the low frequency of 16 Hz. It is massive. To make the electric motor lighter while maintaining the same power consumption, it is necessary to increase its operating frequency. This is why the onboard alternating current network in aviation operates at 400 Hz. These are some interesting facts about the 15 kV 16 Hz system of European electrified railways that you learned today in the video.